In this video lesson, we're going to wrap up our work on gated synths. Now let's go ahead and set up our arpeggiated guitar. So coming back to expand, and let's take the track, let's unmute it there, and here we'll be going to our patch browser. I'm going to go down to guitars, and here I'm going to choose Dirty 56 Strat. Put it in there, and let's just go ahead and start playing. Okay, let's give that some rhythmic interest here. And I'm going to go and turn on the arpeggiator. So I'm going to select the play mode as ARP, arpeggio. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And I'll let you experiment with this on your own, but I'm just going to go ahead and choose pattern three. Let's go ahead and start playing now. And I'm going to hit return. There we go. And I'm also going to slow that down to eighth note. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead here and add another guitar in to slot B. So I'll just go ahead and click there. And I'm going to go right down to guitars. And I'm going to go and grab dynamic wah dirty. Okay, so I'm kind of going for a distorted track here. I'm going to turn on the arpeggiator. Same. Eighth. Pattern three. On. And as they play, I'm going to pan them left and right. There we go. Okay. So now we've got that in our track. Finally, let's bring in our bass. And let's get some bass going. So I'm going to click on here where it says vacuum. Go to my patch browser, sound browser, bases, and I am going to go and grab number 37, deep growl, and see how that sounds. Not bad. Lots of bases here to choose from. If there's another one you like, go ahead and take that. But I think Deep Growl will do the work for us. All right, let's stop that. And I'm just going to bring down all my tracks. And let's put together a little bit of a mix. OK, first our drums. So you can see how we're letting gates using drums as a trigger for the gate, as a key for the gate to open and close it. We're using filter gate. Again, another type of gate there with a filter built into it. Very creative there. Using the mod delay and learning how to use the sync mode, the link mode, and choosing different note values that go with the track. Expand, learning how to use the arpeggiator feature. Lots of fun there. And just being introduced to vacuum to get some basses. All right. So that's it. Save your work. Compress your file and turn it in to the appropriate place.